main scene. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you know when I come live. But I think all you guys know when I go live. It is Tuesdays at 8. Every Tuesday at 8. Eastern. All right. Making sure I... Making sure I don't uh, make any dingy, <laughs> dingy white cards here. All right, Anthony. Let's see what we can pull for you. Man, this is cool. I like opening new product. This is making me like this is like a trial run for Uprising, and I'm like jazz. I'm like it's making me jazzed for like how good that's gonna be. So. There's a good chance that I get Uprising on the day of release and I might be doing a live stream day of. Um, and hopefully we can like just go like full hype and be like battle boxes, box openings, you know. Um, you know, just do like, just do a like, you know, I don't want to say like late night Friday, but, uh, but yeah, just like open open uprising until we get tired of it which we probably won't get tired of it all right so we don't have unfortunately these are not paper packs they open fairly easy though backs look exactly the same as they should boom look at that Wow, this is uh, this is very interesting. So they're Japanese print runs. I don't know if you guys know this, but the Japanese cards do have a little bit different feel to them. They're kind of like a little bit slicker. Yeah, so there's definitely cards I like better. Like this hit and run looks better to me than this rune flash. Uh, let's see how these packs are built. So we got our commons, we got a equipment and a razor reflex so rare rare okay so common and then rare rare okay rushing river convection amplifier dude this box is thick though there's so many packs in it <laughs> a box and a half really 36 packs We got a null rune, and a razor reflex, crane dance, ooh, Moravian skies. See, too dark of art. I, I don't, I don't know if I like that or not. But crane dance, on the other hand, kind of not, kind of nice looking. Fraction bolters, slogism, blue Moravian, and a life for a life. So white and bright, yeah. Yeah, they're definitely bright. It's kind of like weird to see almost because I'm so used to it being black. Ooh, bullseye bracers. It's our equipment. Block of the feather walkers. Oh, ho, ho, ho. got an art of war. Now that's not bad. High speed impact. I have seen a lot of um, history packs being pulled with Art of Wars, so maybe it is kind of like an increased pull rate, but hey man, Art of War is an Art of War. Card I love seeing. Oh yeah, a staple slot. That makes sense. Salt. 
Ooh, Viscerai and White Border. That's kind of cool. Uh, I guess I can go there. Unmovable. Rushing River Day Game. Hey, Steven, how, how are you tonight? We still have a box battle after this as well, guys. First edition Tails box battle. Ooh, nimbleism in white. Now see, Helm of the of Eisen's Peak is a sweet white border card. No lie there. That's awesome. Reduce the rune chant and rushing river. Oh, just the generic. Okay, okay. Yeah, the helm looks amazing. Uh, Brave Forge, Bracer, uh, Brave Forge, Bracers of Belief. Uh, this goes there. Slogism. Hey, another majestic. Blood Rush Bellows. And stir. It's been a while since I've actually like opened or um, felt Japanese print cards. I forgot. They're super nice. Yeah, it's a very important card for a brute. Very good, majestic. Reinar and White. Not as cool as Viserai, I don't in my opinion. Block. It's a common. Huron's Flight. I don't think this card gets played very much, but I'm not a ninja guy. So maybe chat would have to correct me. Looks like it's part of the crane dance line. Let's not hide the uh, the big pole. What's the other one? Uh, I think you're. I think Jimmy, you're asking about the uh, majestic. So we have a blood rush bellow, art of war, and an Huron's flight. So far. Ooh, Azalea, young and white. Interesting. Scar for scar. Quick flack. Disable. Whisper, Hope Merchant's Hood, Spark of Genius Majestic, almost flew right by it, Barraging Beatdown. All right, so definitely seems like we're hitting some Majestics. That's good. Or a tie for these. What am I doing? Yeah, the Azalea looks pretty nice. Ravenous Rabble. Robes of Rapture. Barraging Beatdown. Warrior's Valor. Pretty interesting. I think it's overall, you know, I think right now these history packs are kind of in a weird spot. Um, Death Dealer. Oh no, Jimmy, yeah. <laughs> I already mentioned it. I think you're you're probably stepped away. We have not forgotten about you and Anthony going toe to toe tonight in a first edition battle. Razor Reflex. Summer, uh, springboard assault and a cindering.
Tosmatic lens. Come to fight. Enchanting melody. Spellblade assault. Yeah, I think these will be. So this product is going to be very important, you know, maybe in like a year or so. I think, I, I don't know the timing on it. I think it's just going to be out there. Um, like out there at stores. Um, and then there'll be a point where new players, ooh, sink below. New players won't be able to get these cards anymore, right? Like, yeah, it feels like unlimited WTR, Crucible... It's just never going to go away. But at some point, it will be hard to get. And then that's when this becomes very important. Staunch Yellow. Chanting Melody. And, you know, then obviously, you know, you'll need this for new players, right? <laughs> It's just going to be interesting to see, like, at some point, right, that there'll be, like, a wave of decks with, like, white borders and stuff. <laughs> I feel like, whoa. Ooh, Coax of Commotion. Stir the Ether. Man, I will say that it seems like centering is, like, very noticeable to me, like, right off the bat. Like, the Coax up-down centering is just looks terrible you can it almost like you can see it a little bit quicker on the white yeah i i think it all sort itself out blue pomo i kind of fast rolled this guys and now we're just sitting here and uh, taking it all in. Anthony with the one box, <laughs> the one box hitter. Just like, uh, yeah, not. Yeah, this is what you would call a hit folks. Anthony, you mad lad. When you were like, I'll buy one box, I was like, uh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> but uh, hey, man, it definitely, I think it paid off for you. Um, you got yourself an Art of War so far and a Grass. Looks like we're about halfway through the box, too. Oh, nice. You've been trying to pull the Grass, too? That's awesome, dude. So, like, Grass was a great example of why this product's important right because grass are played by every rune blade and the thing is is that i don't think they can make a better rune blade arms than they already have like i think grass will be played in rune blades for years and years so being getting access to them in these in this history pack is very important very important in my opinion snapdragon and white that's kind of cool Blazing Aether, Majestic, and a Crane Dance. All right, so this has been a very successful box already, man. Congrats, Anthony, on the poll. Oh, yeah, yeah. I No, I've been trying to pull it just because of what I just said. They shot up in price because everybody wants to play them. Everyone needs them. Multiple heroes play them. So I have my pair, but, uh, you know, I'm just looking to gain some value. But, uh, you know, you pulling them is, is awesome. Because, like I said, I think Grass of the Ark Knights uh, will not be out... Uh, outdone for a very long time like i think it's gonna be probably the best room blade arms best in class i'll say for a long long time just it's it's so powerful <laughs> like if they made a better arms for room blades 
people like it would get nerfed i think because it's gonna be just broken you know Ooh, old azalea yeah the artwork is kind of cool Ooh, time snap that's kind of cool and a spell blade assault Legendary, that's what we're hoping for. Oh man, Dorinthia. Dorinthia and White Borders, that's pretty cool. That's a good looking card. Plunder Run. Interesting that Plunder Run's in these sets. Maybe Plunder Run sees its comeback someday. I have to be careful on that one, I think. That's a very strong card. Goliath Gauntlets, Blue Sink Below, Sonic Boom Majestic, and a Staunch. Okay. Where's the, where's, huh, is there no equipment in this one? Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, white grass is lowest 120 already. Okay. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's probably a little high right now to be, to be fair. I think they should, they'll probably fall um a little bit further but you know like i said it's it's best in class it's needed by multiple heroes oh, breaking scales mandible claw blackout kick but if you are you know i guess if you're looking pure for fear uh pure value you pretty much got the value out of this box currently. Slot up, crown goes here. Logism, plunder run. Steel blade shunt. Yeah, some people are going crazy on the prices of these, like this weekend, trying to, I don't know, trying to take advantage of the. The newness, I guess I'll call it. Like, come on, guys. Ooh, red immovable. That's a good card. Ooh, spoils of war majestic. Reaping blade. some like really solid really solid majestics like playable majestics right like dorinthia it's good panting melody it's good to see good to see slippery cards <clears throat> we're almost to the tails battle we're also going to be having uh, battles. We're going to be having some battles each week moving forward. I was able to line up some boxes. Um, so yeah, battles are definitely going to be sticking around. That's going to be fun. What am I doing? Rare, rare. Yeah, they're just like solid cards. You're right, Static. Like the the sinks and things like that just like getting these and having these you know as a new player or as someone building up a collection it's pretty handy 
Uh, oh, that's... I didn't know, like, Seismic Surge tokens are in this set? Why is that even... Huh. That's interesting, because Seismic Surges are also in... Um, are also in Tails. Right? So it's like... Why would they... I guess I'm a little confused on why it would be in the history set. Because there's like a lot of them, you know? And it's a token. <laughs> but White Surge is pretty sweet, though. <laughs> you are right, Static. I thought the Foil Surges were cool, but man. Ooh, Kano. Kano in White. Yeah, surges look sweet. Dash. Rabble. Stir. All right, a couple packs left. Then we battle him. Yeah, so far, I agree. I agree, Anthony. Viz, Viz, for some reason, he goes against my theory that dark art looks bad in, um, in white. But I do like him the best so far. Mage. Oh yeah, dash. The dash is a good looking card too. Homo. Another majestic. Stand sketch plan. And a Savage Feast. You definitely get a haul of Majestics out of these boxes. That's good to see. Oh, damn, Jimmy. Jimmy's prepping for that battle. Ready to take down Anthony. He's like, meh. Ooh, Katsu in white. Rain Dance, Staunch. Now, Katsu in white. I could dig it. Sorry, bud. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Unmovable. Oh, throwing it around too. Courage of Blade Hold. That's a sweet hit. Yeah, this is like, this is saying play Dory. <laughs> play Dory. Oh, we got an Ira in white now. Whisper the Oracle. Reaping and a Savage Feast. All right, two packs left. Yeah, this is definitely a Dory box. Dude, Iron Rot. That's kind of cool looking. Yeah, I think I'm a fan of, like, equipment in white for some reason. I don't think I'm going to go out of my way, but... High speed, barraging. Okay, last pack. Ooh, hit and run. Zen State. Kind of cool. Come to fight. Ether sink. And a take aim. No last pack magic there, but Anthony, you did it. You hit a grasp. Probably one of the better majestics you could hit, to be honest. 
and a pretty good haul overall art of war definitely good hits and cokes you know i think yeah overall oh the courage of blade hold is a is a good hit for sure definitely a good box